is a Toyota hybrid, a CHR hybrid to be precise. And cars like this have been saving drivers money for over 25 years. Thanks to its combination of petrol engine and electric motor, a hybrid offers the best of both worlds when it comes to worry-free, affordable driving. But how do you get the most out of your hybrid? We're here to help. Follow this advice and we'll teach you how to drive as efficiently as possible to make your money go further. And want to know more about Toyota? Then hit that subscribe button to keep up to date. We all carry unnecessary weight in the boots of our cars, be it bags, boxes, stuff for the dogs, but this can really affect your car's efficiency. Unnecessary weight means your car uses more fuel to get up to speed. But there's a simple fix, keep your boot as clear as possible. And one more thing before you jump behind the wheel, plan your journey. There's nothing worse than getting stuck in traffic, extending your driving or getting lost. Plus, if you have the MyT app, then check out the hybrid coaching feature, which will help you on your journey to efficient driving. Right, that's everything outside the car. So how can we make the most of the hybrid technology now that we're behind the wheel? Well, Toyota hybrids have four different drive modes, normal, eco, EV, and sport. Normal is your standard driving mode, suitable for everyday driving. With it, you'll get a balance of economy and performance. Eco sacrifices some of that performance for better economy and is great when you're cruising at a constant speed. EV will force your hybrid to operate in electric only mode. A hybrid can run on electric power alone as long as your battery is sufficiently charged. More on that later. And Sport gives you a bit more performance and responsiveness at the cost of your fuel gauge. So use it sparingly, such as when you're overtaking. Now, if you haven't driven a Toyota hybrid before, there's one thing that they all have in common, and that's that they're automatic. So there's no worrying about what gear you're in, so you can focus on the road ahead, which is good because one of the best ways to make the most out of your fuel is being aware of what's ahead of you. If you can make your driving smooth and steady, that will be really good for your fuel economy. Another way to drive as efficiently as possible is to cut your speed. The Energy Savings Trust has run the numbers on this one. And they say that if you drive at 60 miles per hour rather than 70 miles per hour, it will use a whopping 15% less fuel. And honestly, I find driving at a slower pace rarely affects my arrival time and has a huge impact on my stress levels. So give it a go and see if it works for you. And then there's our old friend, drag. Now, I won't go into the scientific details because all you really need to consider is that if you're driving above 45 miles per hour, then closing the windows and the sunroof will reduce drag and boost efficiency. Then if you have the aircon on, make sure to use the recirculate mode as this will use less energy too. And one last thing that helps is that the computer and technology in a hybrid is always working out the most efficient way to move, especially in normal mode. So what if the roads are a bit busy? In start-stop traffic, try to avoid sudden braking and acceleration. Keep it smooth and your bank account will thank you. And if you have to come to a complete stop, then don't put the car in neutral as this stops the hybrid battery from charging. Instead, use the automatic hold switch, which acts like a temporary handbrake. We often get asked about charge at Toyota, and I'm not talking about how much a Toyota hybrid costs from your local dealer. Although if you do want to find that out, then click the link above. But this CHR I'm in now charges the battery itself. So there's no need to plug it in like you would do your phone, but drive it efficiently and you could still get up to 50% of your journey in full electric mode. So how does it charge? Well, every time you come off the accelerator or brake, all that energy that would usually be wasted is captured and used to charge the onboard battery. For example, if you're going down a big hill, then come off the accelerator and brake gently to top up the battery for use later in your journey. Thank you. 
So there we have it, some simple advice to really make the most of the technology that every Toyota hybrid has. If you still have questions, then give us a shout. We're happy to help. You can get in touch by leaving a comment or contacting the Toyota website. And if you haven't experienced a Toyota hybrid yet, then maybe now's the time. Get in touch with your local dealer and you can organize a test drive so you can really see the difference for yourself.